What have I done? <laughs> I got a skateboard today and that was probably the most... Ah. As you can see, I, I bought the skateboard off of eBay. I didn't know what to expect. I knew it was going to be cheap as hell because I only bought it for $30. At least I was hoping that it'd be better than Walmart or whatnot. And honestly, it's not bad. Like, it's not... It's not as bad as like a Walmart board, it's light, it's a board. But to be honest with you, the reason why I spent such a little amount of money on my first board is because this is my first board in like five years. Nah, five years? Eh, about, about five years. So I didn't want to just start a hobby with like top of the line stuff, especially one that I know I, I already don't have enough time for. So I kind of just wanted to buy something that would just segue myself back into skateboarding if I wanted to keep pursuing it, you know what I'm saying? I believe this is a 7.75 uh, deck, really horribly painted on like one coat. And it's like, that's like one coat of uh, black. But as you guys know, no poser board is ever complete without a sticker. Especially a place where you want to live and you've only been once. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the beginning stages of my quarter life crisis. And can I just add that like the trucks on these things are super loose. I think the last time I seriously rode a skateboard, my trucks were like really tight. So the fact that these things are like super cheap and super loose really just don't help at all. But you know, that's something that hopefully I can fix. It's hot in here. I ride skateboard once. I got the board because you know, summer's coming along and I mean that's really irrelevant for me because I'm taking summer classes. Summer's coming along and I wanted to get out more this summer. I feel like, you know, with coding and all my other schoolwork, I really stay inside a lot. I used to skate a lot in high school. And that really kept me outdoors, it kept me outside, and it just didn't keep me like trapped up in my house, which a lot of the time I really don't like to do. Not to mention, even though this sounds super poserish of me, John Hill and Dale Decker have really got me inspired into getting back into skateboarding and to just like be around that community and culture again. I kind of forgot the reason why I left and the reason why I stopped skating and that was really just because other people kind of pushed me out. I just really felt like I didn't belong and now I feel like because you know, the world's changing and people are getting different perspectives and really just more perspectives on lives in general. It's a lot more inviting. But you know what? I'm really just going to tell you the truth. The reason why I started skating again is so that I could race Sarah Dietschy on a boosted board. Sarah, hit me up in those DMs. I'll see you at VidCon. Oh, by the way, that's, <laughs> that's a perfect segue. If you are going to VidCon, I'm going to VidCon this year. It's going to be my second year in a row for VidCon. I love VidCon so much. VidCon is the highlight of my year. If I see you at VidCon, if you see me at VidCon, please come say hello. The one or two of you who will probably make awkward eye contact with me and be like, I've seen a video once. Cool hair. There are a couple things that are kind of funny about VidCon that I wanted to mention. I am not a big fan of people who don't know boundaries. And what I mean by that is if you've ever been to VidCon or really you've ever met a famous person in general, you've ever seen a famous person, you know, you kind of get this feeling like, oh snap, like I know that person, like that's so cool, I know who this person is, maybe I should go up and say hi. You think about that, right? Any rational person would have that thought process like, oh man, I should think about going to say hi, should I say hi, what not. And usually if they're with someone else, if they're eating, you refrain from saying hi to them because everyone needs respect everyone's personal space. At VidCon for some reason, I'm pretty sure it's just because everyone is a pubescent teenager and nobody really gives a shit about anyone's respect. Kids tend to take advantage of that and they bombard these celebrities or even worse, something that I, <laughs> oh my god. I'm waiting for the hate. So if you're going to VidCon, I get it, you're excited, maybe you see your favorite YouTuber. I know if I saw Casey Neistat, I would probably just have to go up to him and say something. But for example, last year I met Phil DeFranco on a whim. He was just walking by backstage and I just so happened to kind of, sort of, sneak backstage. Kind of. <laughs> not really. If you're watching this YouTube, I did not sneak backstage. That That is not what happened. And because I kept my cool and I didn't bombard him and I just like waved him down and asked him real quick if I could talk to him, we had an awesome conversation that I probably wouldn't have been able to have if I ran up to him and just asked for a selfie and just like scream in his face. So I guess my advice to you is even if you see your favorite creator of all time, just, you know, just chill out a little bit. Everyone is a person. Everyone's normal. So 
just chill out. But yeah, if you're watching this right now and you want to hang out with me at VidCon, just slide into my DMs and I don't know, we'll hang out, we'll figure something out. I want to meet as many people as I can possible and I just want to be inspired and connect with people no matter how many subscribers you have on your channel, no matter if you want to do videos or not. I kind of just want to go and talk to people. I think that's the main reason why I go to VidCon or to be introduced to someone's channel that I've never seen before. But really, I'm just gonna be there to like talk to people and just like get re-inspired like I was inspired last year to start this channel, so. I don't know. It should be uh, should be really interesting. I'm really excited to see what adventures I get myself into.